Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Um, I am a part-time reseller. I resell on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, whatnot here on YouTube. I do YouTube live auctions and buy it now sales. Um, guys, my, my new internet came in, so we should be able to do live auctions, easy sailing, no, no buffering or weird pixelations so i am excited about that this one actually does have a receipt um i purchased this on november 17th and it is coming from phoenix arizona and that's what it looks like this is a thread up diy five pound jewelry box we are hoping to get you know some name brands we're hoping to get sterling maybe some gold um if any, I know how you'll ask me like what specific brands am I looking for I like to look for Kate Spade Kendra Scott um Brighton you know J Crew brands like that um so I see some really blingy pieces right here on the top so that's fun and this is fun I see a pendant that is marked Trig Leather T-R-I-G-G L-E-A-T-H-E-R. So that's interesting to see what that is right here. Um, yeah, so this looks pretty interesting. I see a lot of very unusual pieces. I see some natural stones. I see some agate. I see, like I said, I see some bling. I see some vintage. Look what the back looks like. So yeah, all right. I am going to go ahead and um, pause you guys. I'm going to take a, a picture from my thumbnail and I'll be right back. All right, I went and took a couple pictures for my thumbnail, and let's get started. Y'all, I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas. Um, I got sick. I got sick on Christmas night. Um, so, you know, at least I didn't get sick during Christmas Day. <laughs> but yeah, it sucks. Um, I've, I don't know what's been going on. I just, I've been, like, constantly sick for the last, like, two-ish, three weeks now. Don't know why. So hoping that I got over whatever I had and that it's over now. I hope everyone had a great Christmas. Also, Happy New Year's. This will be going up right before New Year's. I, um, I'm filming the Friday before um, the day goes up. So, yeah. So we have the Shein. These are some gold tone hoop earrings. Let's get a measurement. They are a two inch hoop. Oh, these are really pretty. Guys, I don't think these are Shein. 925. So the ear hooks are marked 925. Um, so that is awesome. So yeah, someone stuck these in a Shein bag, it, but they are not Shein. They are 925 with a gold verme. And they have these gorgeous opals. Look at all those opals. And there's opals on the inside as well. So the very first thing we pull out. All right, let's go ahead and test it. I usually do my testing at the end of my video, but I want to see if these are real silver. So we're going to test the ear post. And let's test the end of the hoop as well. Okay. I don't want to stretch too hard on the verme part because I don't want it to um, take off a lot of the gold. I just want to do a little testy. And yes, we have sterling. I don't know if you can see that, but it is shining bright blue. All right, so we have 925 silver. Awesome. I will have to do some research. They are marked with the maker's mark. I don't know that maker's mark. It looks like a W or an M right there. there so i'm gonna have to look that up um maybe google lens will show me you know s tell me what they are but they are absolutely stunning yay all right 925 silver first thing we pull out love that okay next thing we have is a bracelet this feels like genuine leather it says n 
Um, they are marked, though it's marked with that key thing again. I don't know if you guys remember in my last box, which I will link right here. Um, we got an amazing box. I got Cartier, y'all. I literally got Cartier. Um, well, I'm hoping. I am still going to get it authenticated. Guys, I tested it three more times with all three acids and they still all test positive. So I'm like pretty certain it is solid 18k gold. Um, but I think this is the giving key, but I'm not 100% sure. The giving key did not make jewelry like this. Theirs is mostly like an actual key, not charm bracelets. So I'm going to have to do some research. Maybe this is another brand that also has a key as their logo. But um, that's really nice. Hopefully I, I mean, I already looked it up and I couldn't find anything about it. So we'll see. All right. We have a really tarnished bracelet. My name will like that. Um, she loves any of those like gold or silver stretch bracelets. These are really pretty. Very boho. Um, they do, they are quite dirty though. So we have a tiger's eye bead with a mother pearl shell and a little very like boho charm. These do have some wear. They probably only need like a wipe down. But um, I'll just do a dollar on them just because they do need a cleaning. So we'll just do a dollar on those. Those are really nice. Okay. What else do we have? I like that some things are in baggies. Guys, there's no little bag of goodies like my last one. My last one, it was like all the good stuff was in like one bag. This looks like a broken necklace. Um, Let's see. All my best items came in that bag at the very end of my video. And guys, if you didn't watch that video, again, I will have it linked Um, when I said I had it linked, but I'll try and link it again. I don't know if I can link more than one. Um, thank you, Christina, over at Stina Resells for um, telling me how to link things. I had no idea. Um, again, I will link her channel right here. Um, Christina is awesome and she's helped me out a lot um, with some new... Oh, this is really nice. It does have a little bit of wear on the chain. Let's just do a dollar on it. Um, yeah, so Christina has been awesome. She's helped me a lot. Um, just showing me some tips that I didn't know about. So this is a J. Crew necklace. It is missing a link right here. Um, it does have some substantial wear on the back chain as well. Um, honestly, I'm just going to hold on to this and use this. These are perfect pieces for me to craft with for my little fairy doors. If you don't know, I, I do craft. I don't really talk about it that much because I haven't crafted in so long. I just don't have the time. But I do craft. Um... And I like to make like fairy doors and I like to make wind chimes and things like that. This looks like silver. Um, I like to make wind chimes and what else? Wind chimes, sun catchers, things like that. Hey, let's look what this is. This looks like a lucky brand. Um, but it has very substantial amount of wear. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But um We'll just do a dollar on it. It needs to be clean. If it is Lucky Brand, it might be silver plated and it can clean up some. But it definitely does have some wear. So we'll just do a dollar on that. Okay. Um, this is Mart. Neiman Marcus costume. Okay. Neiman Marcus. I'll have to, you know, verify that just to make sure. But it definitely looks like something um, Kate Spade would do for sure. It's a really nice red rhinestone necklace. They're all faceted. They feel like glass. And there is some wear on the back chain, but it's not terrible. And I will have a price on this on the screen. I like to um, pop up prices for th on things I don't know what to price. Some things I'll price as we go. This is 18 inches plus the extender. Um, but like something like this, I don't know what a Neiman Marcus you know, necklace would go for. So, okay. This is a watch, which I don't do well with watches. This is not working. It's a Timex Ironman triathlon. It looks like it just needs a wipe down and probably a new battery. Like... It looks like it's in pretty good condition besides that. So, you know, hopefully I will have a price on the screen on that. And that is everything I'm giving prices on is as is. 
Um, I really don't do all that much cleaning or anything to the pieces unless I state otherwise. This is Carolyn Pollock. So um, if you see the uh, crescent moon with an R, that is Carolyn Pollock. And it's also marked something. I, I can't really make out what that says, but it's marked something else. And um, this is a little turquoise bracelet. There's also the Carolyn Pollock logo right there. So yay, um, this is a keeper. I collect turquoise. I collect a lot of natural stones, but turquoise, moonstones. I got this amazing ring from a subscriber. Um, thank you so much. You know who you are. I love it. I got this in the mail yesterday and I literally was like, I'm wearing this for my unboxing. I love it so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. Um, so I'm keeping that. That is definitely a keeper. We'll test it. Just make sure it's silver, but it's Carolyn Pollock. They don't really fake a whole lot of Carolyn Pollock. <laughs> or if they do, I haven't found any. This is Mart. Um, I'm not really sure what that's Mart. Right there on the top. It's a little pyramid earring. I don't see any marks on the ear hook. Um, a tip to use if you're looking for a mark on an ear hook is use your fingernail and just glide it across or scratch um, across the ear hook and see if you feel any like bumps. Um, usually that is like how I sometimes if I can't find a mark, I'll just do that and maybe I'll find it. Okay, that looks like 925. We have a little sun earring that also reminds me of 925. Um, okay, the ear hook isn't, but that is not magnetic, and that is not magnetic, so we'll put this aside to test. Okay, these are craft, those are very tarnished. This is super cute. Hopefully, we get the match. That one's um, very interesting. And as we find um, earrings, I put them to the side and I will show them all at the end or as we go if I find matches and I give a price that way. This, um, I'm assuming this might be Stella and Dot or Premier Designs. They did a lot of interchangeable jewelry. And this is a matte gold tone rhinestone dangle tassel. And it's on like this textured oval link chain. There is some, oh yeah, Premier Designs. Thought so. There's the Premier Designs logo. Like I said, there's some very light wear. It's mostly on the extender. Um, there's some, yeah, there's some light discoloration, but it's nothing crazy. Um, let's just do three dollars on it. It's 34 inches plus the extender, and then the tassel is an additional five and a half. So let's just do three dollars on this. Like again, it does have some light discoloration, but it is nothing. Nothing crazy. You can see it's not that bad. So $3 on that. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Please remind me. Oh, wow. So this is coming up undone, unfortunately. So that's unfortunate. This was really cool. There's like a piece of quartz maybe and this looks like mercury glass and we have a rhinestone so maybe we'll find the matching rhinestone we can fix that but as of right now it's craft okay i'm excited about so far my favorite piece is the carolyn pollock this is really pretty cross okay these remind me of stella and dot but it is broken so that's unfortunate okay This is that leather thing I, I said I saw in the um when I was showing the bag off. I think this might be something good. At least I hope it is. So we'll show that next. Okay. Just pulling out some jewelry. Don't want to pull out too much, but I just want a nice bit. Okay. We have all of this to untangle. <laughs> Alright, so we have that earring. That is craft. Okay, so we have this. This is a Stella and Dot. 
This actually matches the necklace that we unboxed in our last video. Um, it, that necklace did sell already. Um, so I'll have to reach out to the person who got the necklace and see if she wants the earring. Ew, yep, here's the match. Um, these are real semi-precious stones. Um, so this is really pretty. It's probably a dyed quartz or maybe it's some other kind of natural stone, but it is stunning natural stone, gorgeous blue color, and they're faceted. And these are unmarked Stella and Dot. So that is a great find. All right. Okay. This is not marked, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strands of pearls, I believe. So it is a nine strand. It has like this cool um, toggle. Let's see if there's any marks in between. Sometimes the mark will like be on the same hook as the strands and they get tangled. I don't see any marks, so let's just do $3 on it. $3 on the nine strand pearl necklace. Okay. This is an ear cuff. So this would go like over the ear. I don't think this would be silver or anything. So I'm pretty sure this is just costume. We'll see if we get the other match. Um, make, oh, no, this isn't it. It's similar, but not quite. Ooh, look at the Malifori. I love Malifori glass. I know I have a lot of subscribers that also like Malifori glass. Um, whenever I get it, I always get like five emails about it. And it always sells quick for me. So this is glass. So it is a little faux pearl bracelet. At least, I'm. yeah, those are definitely faux. With the Malifori um, art glass beads. Let's get a measurement on that. It's a toggle closure. It's about a seven, seven and a quarter. Let's just do four dollars on it. Four dollars on the super cute little Malifori um, toggle class bracelet. That should hopefully sell fast. <laughs> All right, this looks like it could be silver, but it's really tarnished, which is why I'm thinking it's silver. But I don't think it is actually let's see nope definitely not silver sets so craft okay we have an earring and by the way some silver can be magnetic it could just be lower quality silver it could have a rhodium plating over the silver like some silver is magnetic but it wouldn't be that magnetic that was craft um so just you can't always go strictly off of the um, magnetic um, way. So this is another J. Crew very heavy wear. I don't know if you can see that or not. It definitely has some major wear to this. This will just be a dollar. Anyone likes that. Lots of wear to the silver or the gold tone. Okay, this is a fun bracelet. It is a cuff. I don't see any markings on it. Um, I don't think this is silver. Um, we'll test it just to make sure. But I don't think it is, but we'll test it just to make sure. This is, oh, this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren um, necklace. So there's the RLL. This is really nice. I like the leather. I'm assuming real, genuine leather if it's Lauren Ralph Lauren. Um... It is a 14 inch plus a two and a half inch extender. This I will have to Google Lens, just see what this one's going for. Usually anything that has their branding right in the front does very well. But of course I will give you guys a good subscriber discount. So price will be on the screen for that. We have these cute little American, um, American Eagle outfitters. No price on them. Um, let's just do, there's two pairs of studs. So let's just do $2. So you get little silver tone arrows and little like gold. I think they're gold tone or rose gold tone. So two dollars on those. All right. Okay. Let's see. What else is in here? 
okay, we do have the match to the ear cuff, so I'm going to have to look into that a bit. So this looks like sterling. I don't see any maker's marks or anything. It's not magnetic. So we are going to test this and see. So I'm not sure about that. So we'll test that for silver. Several things to test so far. Yay. Love. Oh, there's another silver piece. This is Mark II. So let's see what that marking is. Let's get it untangled. I might fast forward through this part. Okay. That actually took no time at all. So maybe I didn't fast forward it. I have no idea. Um, this looks like silver as well. This looks like Alexis Vitar. Um, it is marked with some logo that I do not recognize. That is a really pretty, it is like a matte textured gold with pave um, inset rhinestones. It is, oops, my, um, it is marked right here. I don't know what that mark is. Let's see. I don't know. Huh. We'll put it to the side. Okay, we have this really pretty earring. This is a really pretty bracelet. This is also marked. This is marked with a seashell. Could that be Serafina? I think that theirs is usually a mermaid. This is really cute. This looks like maybe Lucite or some natural stone. Maybe Lucite? I don't know. This is a cute little adjustable cord bracelet with a little flower, but it is marked with that little seashell. If anyone knows what that marking is, please let me know. All right, guys. So I just looked up this bracelet and I was actually very pleasantly surprised. So this little bracelet is not a seashell if you can zoom in right there that is an eagle head it is kurt giger and it is an adjustable slider charm bracelet so i will have a price on the screen for that but yeah this is a kurt giger and it is adorable and yeah i don't know how i thought that was a seashell that is definitely an eagle head <laughs> all right guys back to my video i'll have to look into that Okay, I want to get into this little dainty thing. I like dainty things. Usually that means it's silver and it is marked something. Okay, I got that untangled and it is marked 925 right on the pendant. And then it does have another pendant right here that is a feather. It is also marked 925. And then the chain is marked um 925 on the clasp and then it's marked b u b dot u dot i don't know that um oh it's a little cherub oh look how cute that is it's a little angel you know maybe maybe that's not a feather maybe that's an angel wing or a you know feather from an angel wing look how cute that is so hopefully I'll have some information about that. And hopefully that is real silver. Okay. We have this little heart with a faceted clear stone. I don't think that hook is silver. It's not magnetic. We'll test it. Okay. This is what I was very curious about. It is marked Trig Leather. And it is a pendant that does come off. And it spins. Look at this. Like a spur almost. Very Western, you know, themed. It is, is it missing something? It's not missing anything. So there's rhinestones and then there's no rhinestone here, but there's like a dot. You see that? So rhinestone, rhinestone, and there's like a dot right here, like something. I don't know what that is. Um, the clasp is not marked. And these all look like real natural gemstones. So I see tiger's eye. I see some japster. 
jasper. I see some unikites. I see maybe some jade. I see coral. So yeah, I'm definitely have to look into this brand and see, um, you know, some information about it. It might be missing a rhinestone. And if that is the case, I will be on the hunt for another rhinestone. So it's really cool. Okay. Now the price on the screen, possibly if I can figure that out. If not, sorry. <laughs> oh, we do have the match to this um, little earring that is marked. This one is a little bit easier to make out, but still not quite. I still don't know what that says. So I don't know. Put that again to the side. Okay. Um, this is a leather bracelet that says Ella Jude. Ella Jude. So the outside is like the super tarnished, which I believe it's intentional. It looks very intentional how they distressed it here. Um, and then the inside is leather and it says Ella Jude. This looks like it could be something. And it's adjustable because it's thin metal with leather. So it's adjustable to different wrist sizes. But hopefully I have something on the screen about that. Craft. It's a pretty earring. My Nana. Here's a pair of earrings. These are pretty. Don't see any marks on them. So it is like a rainbow faceted little stud prism. Um, let's see if they're magnetic. They are not magnetic. So we will test those to see if they are anything. They're pretty. Okay. Let's see. This is pretty. These are all different types of, um, different colors of glass. And there is a clasp. There is no marks. It's like an antiqued matte silver tone. And these are not glass. These are acrylic. It is 44 inches. And we'll just do $2 on it. Pretty for fall. Okay. Oop. Okay, we have a bracelet that is craft. Missing stones. Okay, let's see. This is going in craft as well. It's tarnished. Okay, we have a pretty earring. Oh, we do have a match to them. So, here we go. So one side's black, while one side kind of has like that oil slick peacock kind of coating. Let's just do two dollars on those. Two bucks for those. Those are nice. Okay. All right. We have another. We have the match to the little sun. So nice. Hopefully that is silver. We'll see. We have that earring. Those are usually going up going in craft. We have a nice little clip on. Let's see if we get the match. Okay, so we have like a very cool, very fun charm bracelet. Some of these charms look like they are sterling. Um, hold on, guys. Okay, so let's see. So we have all of these different coins from other another country, I would assume. And we have all of these charms on it. So there's a bunny rabbit. So there's a crescent moon. There is a peacock or a quail. We have another bunny. We have a foot. That is literally a foot. Um, we have a little a leg. A leg. We have a heart. Um, this strand has a dog, I think. And then this one has a person, another bunny, and then there's the foot. So there's actually quite a bit of beads on here. So these are Melifori art glass beads right here. Then we have like some turquoise. We have some glass. We have some turquoise. 
Um, we have a bunch of turquoise. There's another piece of turquoise. Then we have some glass again. So really fun. The um, Here's a close-up of the coin. So this is very cool. I love this. I love that. I love the mix of these. So that's awesome. Definitely something I'll have to look up. That one, I don't know what the, I would price that at. Um, these are blue, like a cat's eye. Um, and then these are like silver, where some of the silver has kind of come off. Um, this looks like it could be a piece of jade right here. Guys, I really need that presidium. It's a... <laughs> um, they're still giving me a really hard time about returning it. So I'm just waiting for Amazon to do their due diligence. And then hopefully um, they will, you know, send me a shipping label to send it back. This is marked something on the back. Like, I just don't know that pattern. It's not like 1928 or 2028. I don't know that print. We have a hoop. I think we have the match to these hoops. They look like they're in pretty good condition. Um, they are about an uh, inch and three quarters. So let's just do $2 on the hoops. Okay. We have these stunning stunning rhinestones look at that absolutely stunning i'm not even going to look to see if all the rhinestones are there until we get the match because i don't want to get my hopes up um we have a little faux turquoise earring and then we have these earrings which i already showed and this is just a hot mess we'll, we'll save that for later okay these are new on the card um a new day they are a faceted like a creamy peachy kind of color with like almost like a little macrame kind of braided detail those are a two inch hoop and let's just do two dollars on those and on the card okay oh this is mart oh this is kara this is kara ny her stuff is pretty pricey um unfortunately i do see an issue where the elastic is not very good. So that is unfortunate and it's missing a stone right there. So this would be a good crafting piece for me. Okay. This is interesting. Ooh, I see amethyst. Ooh, that is a nice strand of amethyst too. And I have the matching bracelet. Okay, that's awesome. All right, we're getting some cool stuff. Nothing crazy like my last box, but we still haven't finished going through it all. Okay, come on. I'm just gonna open it out. It's a lot more tangly than my last box. This box definitely has more tangles. Should do like one of those um asmr like going through jewelry where i don't even talk i just like and then it's like all the like, noises from untangling things this is definitely magnetic so um let's see it looks like all the stones are there it does look like all the stones are there um the chain does have some wear it's not terrible but it does you know have some wear See that? Back of the necklace looks like it's in pretty good condition. Maybe some light wear. Um, let's just do three dollars on this. So that's just gonna be three bucks. It's pretty. Okay. This is a stunning strand of amethyst. And they're nice size beads. And it has the matching bracelet. This is about 20 inches of amethyst. Um, the clasp is just silver tone. So I will have a price on the screen. Oh, look at that piece right there. You can see the striations. So pretty. 
Um, I will have a price for the set. I'm going to keep these together. So that is just absolutely stunning. So price will be on the screen for that. Probably my favorite, one of my favorite pieces so far from the box. Okay. Alrighty. This is very tangled, y'all. This is like really tangled. Look at, look at this mess. Okay, here's a brooch. I don't get very many brooches. This is unsigned. Um, I'll Google Lens it just to make sure it's not something crazy, but I'm not thinking it is. So, with that. And then again, hopefully I'll have prices on the screen. This is an, another unmarked. Um, I love the faceted blues on this. This is absolutely stunning. Love that with these matte silver tone beads. Um, this is about a 16 inch. 16 inches plus a uh, 2 inch extender. And let's just do $3 on that one. That one's stunning. $3. Ow. Okay. Um... These are all natural stones. First I was thinking they were um, unikite, but I do not think that is what it is. I think there's something different. What are you? This is really nice. I love the pinks on this. Like the mauve pinks. With like brown and black and green throughout. Um, I love this. I don't know what those stones are, but that's awesome. Hopefully I'll have some information on the screen. I'm loving the natural stones. So this, I think this is a kid's piece. Oh no, this is for your phone. This is the part that goes, you would feed this through your phone and it would loop like that. Or like an AirPod case or a camera. These are glass beads. And they, are, um, they do have the Rondell rhinestone beads. Um, no missing stones. So let's just do um, $2 on this. These are perfect pink beads also to craft with, but I think that is good as it is. Okay. I'm hoping there's some like winter pieces like in this tangle and then, um, but so far, you know, it's not that bad. Pretty good so far. So we have those earrings, we have those earrings, we have that earring, which I think I said I thought was silver. So that one might be silver, but the rest I do not think are. Um, Again, has a lot of wear, so that's craft. Okay, guys, I'm going to pause and untangle all of that. Well, no, first let me... Ow, just got stabbed by something. Let's go ahead and pull this out, and then I will have to untangle that. Because it is... It's a pretty bad tangle. Um, ooh. We did get something. This is a Mark CM925. Oh, and then a bunch of other words, too. No. 925 LA. Yeah. And then it's marked CM. So it is a 925 silver with a gold rame and we have a stunning um, Melifori glass pendant. Really pretty. Um, and I have a price on the screen. I don't know what CM stands for. So I'll have to test that and make sure it's silver. We have these big H&M hoops that were $3. They were regularly $12.99. Let's just do a dollar on them. They are a two and a half inch hoop. So those will just be a dollar. Okay. Um, this, maybe this could be Bakelite. Maybe it's Lucite. I do have some Simichrome somewhere. I'll have to dig it out and maybe we'll test that. Hi guys, I'm just adding this in to my video. I just tested this necklace with the Simichrome and it is turning yellow. So I think we have Bakelite, guys. I think this is a Bakelite necklace. Um, let me go put on the screen if it tested or not. This one is awesome. It's your pink agate beads. So this is made for, like, I'm a seven, seven and a quarter. I would say this fits better a seven and a quarter to a uh, seven and a half. Let's do $5 on this. Really pretty beads. So $5 on that one. Okay, ooh, this looks like bone. And if it is, I think I might know someone who might want this. 
So these are all bone with carved elephant um, beads. So that's really cool, very unique. Um, Janet, you'll have to let me know if you want that or not. <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh, we have a little baggie with some earrings in it. Cartier, Cartier. <laughs> um, no, they are marked uh, Monet though. Um, but unfortunately they have a lot of wear. Um, I shouldn't say a lot of wear. They're just very tarnished. So if anyone wants them, I'll just do a dollar on them. That's unfortunate. Okay. We have... This bracelet, that is craft. We have this ring that is broken, craft. We have that match that is craft. Ooh, this ring is really pretty. I'll see if my aunt wants it. If she doesn't, price will be on the screen. Really pretty black rose with rhinestones in the middle. Really nice. Okay, um, we have a rhinestone set, looks like, so let's see what that is. Okay. Oh, it's a set, yeah, so let's see. Oh, these are earrings. Um, those are really pretty. Really pretty little rhinestone earrings, and I think this is a choker. Choker is missing a stone, so that's unfortunate. The earrings seem to be all there, but I'll have to do a once over just to make sure. Um, if all the stones are there, let's just do $5 on these. Really pretty, very blingy, but I will have to go over them and make sure, and I'll put it on the screen if all the stones were there or not. It's craft. This is a watch edition. I don't know what those go to. We have, oh, it's missing. So this looks like a Heidi Doss for like 1928, but it's missing a stone. So it's craft. It's craft. These are coach. I have had these earrings before. These are unmarked coach. And the only reason I know that is because these came in a, I want to say a FF at Fun Box maybe two, three years ago. And I got a set in my box and they sold immediately. I'll have to put on the screen what the name of the stud is, but I, these are definitely, um, these are definitely a good coach earring. Um, and I'll have a price on the screen on those. And those are coach. You saw 99% sure they're coach. We have a tag that was from Macy's. Um, Japan movement strap, $125. I don't know what this went to. I don't think it was this watch. Ow. I don't think it was this watch, so... I'm not sure what this goes to. Okay, and then we have like another necklace that looks like maybe a bone or maybe faux bone. So let's put that with the other one. Okay, we have, oh, that looks like a real pearl. So that's fun. These are all crap. These are tarnished, trash. This is missing a bunch of stones. So that is also craft. Um, This has all of its stones. And it is marked the same as the these, I believe. That's the same marking. Um, MM maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that marking is. Okay. Um, oh, these look like real pearls, and this could be 925. Yeah, that looks like a real pearl. And they're little um, angels. Those are stunning. I love those, so we will um, test those, and I'll have a price on the screen. Okay. These are nice little seed bead dangles. Okay, these are all empty. It's empty. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, this is not marked, which I am shocked about. I thought for sure these would be silver. 
they definitely are real pearls. They are scratchy or they are gritty. So they're nice sized pearls. Um, let's see if they're magnetic. They are. So um, they're not real silver, but they are real pearls. Let's just do $5 on them. $5 on the pearl studs. Really nice. These are faux pearls, and we'll just do a dollar on those. Okay, this kind of looked like a Kendra Scott, but it's not marked. Which I don't even know where it could be marked. It's so tiny. So we have that one. And let's see. I don't see any matches, unfortunately. Oh, we did get the match to this earring. And let's just do um, $2 on these. It's like a matte gold tone. There might be a little bit of wear on the um, on the jump rings, but $2 for those. Okay. And we do have the match to this, which I don't know what that is. So I will Google and sit and have some info on the screen, hopefully. I think I'm losing my voice again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to... Ow, I just got stabbed again. Um, this thing right here keeps stabbing me. Um, I'm going to untangle this mess, and I will be right back. All right, guys. I am back. I did have to pull out the scissors. <laughs> I did have to cut this necklace, unfortunately. But it was nothing, and it was tangled with actually two pretty good necklaces. So I'm not too worried about it. But guys, we actually got several pieces of silver from that tangle so so it was definitely worth untangling so first thing we have is this very boho it is an adjustable um length cord and it has all of these like dyed wood beads it's very long and it's adjustable with these blue tassels on the end and let's just do two dollars on this there we go two dollars on this necklace Okay, then we got this little 925 so at least Mart necklace that says Voter. V-O-T-E-R. And it is not magnetic and it is marked 925. Oh, and it has a brand. I didn't see that. S and B. S and B925. So we will test that to make sure it's real silver. Price will be on the screen. Okay. For, and then we got these awesome earrings. Um, they are dried pressed flowers on this um, fish hook. And um, I'm going to go to these to make sure they're not like Madewell or Anthropology or something like that. But um, I will have some info on the screen about those. Those are nice. Um, next we have a very nice, probably one of the better branded pieces we've gotten so far, um, a Madewell necklace. And this is an excellent condition. So it is marked with the Madewell M and it does have an, um, an extender. So it is a gold tone or gold plated Rolo chain that goes into this, um, drop. And these are all removable. So this does open and you can take off one of the charms. You can add charms so you can wear them like this as just matte gold or you can flip it over. There's a gorgeous little tulip, which is would be perfect for spring and Easter. Um, so let's see. Madewell does very good for me. Um, it doesn't always sell the fastest and for the most, but it always gets a ton ton of attention on my Poshmark. So it is 15 inches plus a three inch extender plus a two inch dangle. And um, Madewell I usually list for it around like $20, $25 mark. Let's just do $8. So $8 on this Madewell necklace. All right. Um, This I do not know what it is. This is a real stone of some kind Um, on like a suede chain so this is gold tone the end caps are copper and the chain is gold tone and it's marked oh it's marked something 
I believe that says 120th, um, 14K. Yes, this is 14K 120. So this is gold filled. Um, I don't know that brand. It's marked with an RA. Um, let's just do five dollars. It is gold filled clasp chain, and then I don't know what this pendant is. It this may be a really good deal. I, it may be a, a fair price. I don't know, but it's gold filled. Five dollars. Um, this is craft. It's missing rhinestones. Um, we have a brooch. All of the stones are there. Um, there is some light wear on the pearls. Nothing crazy. Let's just do $2 on that. $2 on the brooch. Um, this is, I believe, suede. Um, and these are all... I don't even know what they are. But this is suede. Um, let's just do a dollar on it. It's very long. It's a very long, perfect boho layering piece. Perfect fall colors. Two bucks. Two bucks, dollar, I don't know. Oh, let's just do a dollar on it. I don't even care. Um, this is a multi-strand. Oh, the, the bead is broken, so that's craft. <clears throat> There's another broken bead, so that is craft. All right, so this was a great find. So we have a set. This is marked 925. And it is marked with this logo that I am not familiar with. But I think this is the same logo as those, um, that other piece. So it's marked like with an M in an oval. Maybe it's a W in an oval. But it is marked 925. It's like a miniature Cuban link. And it has the matching bracelet as well. Also marked 925 with the same M or W. So let me get a length on that. Let me get a length. The necklace is 18 inches and the bracelet is six and a half. Seven. So 18 inch and seven inch. And again, I don't know that brand, but we will test to make sure it's silver. But yay. 925 silver set. Put a decent little amount of silver. This is a Chico's. Here's the Chico's tag. Um, there is a little bit of wear. There's a little bit of wear on the lobster claw. Um, it is a matte gold toned bead with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 strands of other chains. It's a long one. Let me get a measurement for you guys. That is about 40 inches plus a two and a half, three inch extender. So um, there, like I said, there's a little bit of wear on the clasp. Um, let's just do $3 on it. $3 on the Chico's. And then we had this necklace that is a multi-layer. It is a multi-layer. Oh, I just got it tangled. This took me forever to untangle. Okay. Um, I believe it goes like that. And it, you know, goes out. Um, let's just do three there's three pendants let's just do two dollars on it it's in really good condition so two dollars on that then we had these faux turquoise um antiqued brass ear hooks let's just do two dollars we have these gorgeous it's like an antiqued brass gold tone a little rose with like an oil slick kind of glass blue bead two dollars on those these we did a good match to. We'll test for silver. And then these are awesome. I love seed bead earrings. This is like a very patinaed brass. 
again, the almost intentional distressing. Very boho. And let's just do um, $2 on those as well. Okay. And then um, those we've got to test. The set we have to test. The Carolyn Pollock, which is definitely the best thing we got, probably. Um, the Melifori. The Vote. We have this that we have to look up the brand. We have these little angels. And then we have the little single earring. We have these earrings. We have the suns. We have the little studs. And then, oh, my, my favorite piece. These amazing opal hoop earrings. Oh, we already tested these. So these already did test silver. So, yeah. okay. So this is what we have to test. I thought we had, where's the match? I thought we got the match to this. We do. Okay. And then we have these to test. So this is what we got to test. So I will probably fast forward through this part just to save on some time. All right, I went ahead and scratched everything. So let's go ahead and start testing, guys. I need to probably get some more acid soon. I've been using a lot of acid. Also, guys, be careful with your acid. You know, acid does burn you. It can not be good for your health. So, you know, if you're not used to handling acid, you know, wear, there's no shame in wearing gloves or, you know, you know, doing it. Make sure you're doing it in a very well-ventilated area. So, okay, so these are 925 silver. These are really pretty. I thought they were going to be silver. So we have like a, um, like a garnet kind of colored heart with an EB glass, um, faceted bead. Um, a cool lens them, make sure there's nothing crazy. Like they're not like unmarked sapata or something. That'll price on the screen on those. The ear hooks tested, I believe, for silver. Yeah, these did test for silver, the ear hooks at least. So I, th I think that was that what that was. Um, these did not test for silver. Surprisingly, I was actually kind of surprised with that. These did not test. Neither did the suns. Um, the studs did not test. This, this single earring did test. And I will go through all my earrings just to make sure this one, the match didn't get missed. But this is silver. Um, Shockingly, the threaders are not silver. So I might have to retest those. The Melifori pendant is silver. The cherub and feather is silver. The Carolyn Pollock is silver. The vote is silver and the necklace and bracelet are both silver. So yay, we actually got a very decent amount of sterling. Um, and then of course we have the the hoops with the opals. I love that opal. So yay. We also had the coach earrings. We have the unmarked Stella and Dot earrings we have oh i was gonna test this cuff i don't think it's silver let's see i'm gonna do it in an un nope not silver so let's just do um let's just do two dollars on this two dollars on that little cuff bracelet um okay so we got the bow necklace which um janet let me know if you want it we have the bone, we had the natural stone um, stretch, we had the made well, we had this natural stone stretch, we had the amethyst, oh the amethyst is stunning, the amethyst necklace and bracelet set, um, we had the really cool natural stone chip necklace that is possibly missing a rhinestone, trig leather. Um, we had the Chico's that had a little bit of wear. We had the Lauren Ralph Lauren. We had the necklace that someone marked as, um, Neiman Marcus. Very nice. Um, what we had, oh, we had the Melifori little bracelet. I think that one was only four bucks, guys. Um, 
yeah, I think those were our main pieces. Oh, this really cool charm necklace or bracelet with all of these like glass and turquoise and should we test some of these charms? Let's test a couple of these charms. I don't, they look more Tibetan than sterling. Let's see. Let's just see. I'm curious now. Um. Mm, yes. No. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it kind of turned blue, but it also kind of disappeared. But it's still there, so I'm not sure. Like it faded, but didn't fully disappear. But it did turn blue. I'm thinking maybe this is like a lower quality, like maybe an 800 silver, maybe. I'll have to use like the regular, the red silver acid and test it with that. Um, but yeah, overall as a whole, not a terrible box. I think we'll definitely make our money back. Um, will this Carolyn Pollock fit me? So if it fits me, I'm keeping it. If it doesn't, I'm selling it. Actually, no, it doesn't fit me, guys. I might be selling the Carolyn Pollock. It is. Oh, no, guys. It's a little too short for me. Let's see. The Carolyn Pollock is a six and a half. So it will not fit in my wrist. Um, so I will have a price on the screen for the Carolyn Pollock. That is so sad. I love that. Okay, so not terrible. I don't think I got any pieces for me to keep, which is shocking. Usually I love to keep some pieces. If this doesn't sell, I might keep this. But overall, not bad. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment on what your favorite pieces were. Mine was the Carolyn Pollock, the Melifori. I really liked the Cuban Lynx. The Coach were, was really good. Oh, and of course the Amethyst. Who doesn't love Amethyst? So these were probably some of my faves. But um, yeah, overall, not bad. Um, again, if there's anything in this box that you were interested in, all you have to do is send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com. Um, also, I do have a jot form in my description. So if you click on the description down below, right under my video, it should say description or just click on the title. Um, click on that. If you scroll down a little bit, there should say jot form um, link. And if you do that, um, fill that out for me. That would be great. And that is just giving me your name, your YouTube name, your email address, your address, and what payment method you prefer from the ones that I, I do use. So um, I did have several questions in my last video on how to order from me. And that is how you do it. You just go, you just go to my description, you fill out that job form link, and then you just send me an email. All right, guys, that is it. Again, comment, subscribe, like. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.